Binance has a lot of things. It's not just exchanging and trading cryptocurrency. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you the step-by-step -step guide on how to use Binance. I know the app can be a bit complicated, especially if you're a beginner. I will help ease that pain for you. The video is going to be a bit lengthy, but worth it. So grab your drink and let's get started. Please support me by clicking the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. I have also created a timestamp to help you navigate through the video as I'm going to be showing you how to use both the web and the mobile app. There's also a giveaway currently sponsored by Daba School. To participate and win some courses from them, watch this video to the end and also make sure to follow their social media handles. I'm going to leave it in the description box below and then I'll give you more details about the giveaway later. This video is not sponsored by Binance and I'm also not a financial advisor. The video is only for educational and entertainment purposes. Now let's get right into it. Be sure to skip this introductory part of Binance by using the timestamp below or if you just want to get started with the app already. Binance is a cryptocurrency exchange that provides a platform for trading various cryptocurrencies. This is what you will see when you Google them, but I believe this should be updated as there is, as there is more to them than just exchanging cryptocurrencies. Binance is the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world in terms of trading volume. Binance platform gives you lots of altcoins, by altcoins I mean coins that are not um, Bitcoin, and trading pairs that most exchange platforms will not give you. They give you options to deposit lots of currencies like dollars, pounds, euros, nairas, you name it. They also give you options to trade futures and passive income through staking and savings. They also allow buying and selling through what they call the pair-to-pair -pair feature they have on their app. We will get right into all of this in this video. Binance has a website and also a mobile app. You can check their website at www.binance.com and their apps are available on both iOS and Android. For this video, we are going to be making use of the web and the mobile app. Now let's get right into it. And if you haven't registered on Binance, please make sure to use my link below. I'm going to be leaving my link in the description box. Make sure to use my link below so that you can get some discounts when you're purchasing your cryptocurrency. Alright guys, this is what their registration looks like. There is nothing much to it. It's very simple. Always make sure to use a valid email address and a valid mobile number and also a very strong password. Why I'm lamenting on using a valid email address and phone number you can access is because whenever you want to make a transaction, they always send a verification code to either your email or your mobile um, number. And that is it. So after your registration, you can as well make use of Google Authenticator for extra security. Be sure to use my link for the referral. So you successfully registered and you are now on Binance website. I'm also I'm going to go to the mobile very soon, but I want to give you a rundown on how on how to use the um, website. So when you come, you're going to see um, the buy crypto, the market, the trade, the you know, finance, derivatives, wallets, and all. So I'm going to walk you through all of this and more. So now when you click on, when you, the first thing we are going to look at is the buy crypto. So now for you to be able to buy crypto on Binance, you need to deposit some amount of money for you to be able to exchange your fiat currency to a cryptocurrency. Maybe you have other coins in other exchange platforms and you want to, you know, move them from those exchange platforms back to this BNB. I'm also going to show you how you can do that. But for you to be able to buy, you need to deposit your fiat. And from here, you can see that I have various options for me to be able to, you know, pay for a cryptocurrency with different, for me to be able to pay for cryptocurrency. We have the bank deposit, the credit card, the P2P trading, and all of that. So now if you look at this pay with, they're giving me options to pay with either Euro or any other currency. So now let's say, for example, um, I don't want to pay with Euro. Maybe I want to pay with my Naira. You can see that I still have the option of bank deposit. There are some countries that really do not have this option. Say, for example, you're in South Africa. You will not have the option of, you know, depositing via bank, which is very okay because there are actually other ways you can do that. For example, the credit card, the P2P and all. So say, for example, your country, um, you, the, the, the currency you use is here and you can make use of bank deposit. The easiest way to do that is just to click on your bank deposit. When you click on bank deposit, you, they're going to give me options to pay through either bank transfer, bank card, on other ones. But why I'm going to always go with bank transfer is because it has zero fee. So when you click on bank transfer, you enter the amount you want to, um, you know, deposit. Say, for example, I want to get 5,000 euros, right? I just click on continue. And if you watch here, sorry, before I click on continue, 
For you to be able to use bank transfer, it takes them up to one to two business days before you can be able to get this money. So if you have the 1.8% fee to pay, you can always go for the credit card. But I feel this fee is high, especially if you're, you know, you really do not have enough money. So either you go with bank transfer and be patient or you go with what they call the P2P trading, which I'll talk about later. So when I click on this 5,000 and I click on continue, when you click on continue, they're going to give me instructions. And these instructions, guys, please make sure to follow it. Say, for example, you want to make use of this bank transfer. They're going to tell you that we only accept fundings from a bank account under my name. So if you want to transfer this and you want to use maybe your friend's account or your sibling's account, please just transfer the money from your friend's account to your own personal account. And then make sure that whatever receiver or payee they give you, you use it. So here they're telling me that I should make sure I use Binance. So please make sure you, if you're using Euro and they're telling you that you have to use Binance, please make use of Binance. It mustn't be Binance, but whatever instruction they give you, please follow. And when I click on confirm, they are going to give me a reference code and account numbers to follow, to pay the money into. Please make sure to impute this reference code because that is what they can use to be able to deposit the money in your wallet. Please do not add any other reference code or adding your name by the side. Always make use of this reference code they've given you. Thank you. And when you make this transfer, um, when the money enters, it's going to appear in your wallet. So now that is it for, um, you know, depositing money into your, into your Binance account. And then if you have cryptocurrency somewhere and you want to migrate from there to this place, all you just need to do is search for the coin you're looking for. Maybe... Uh, um, you know, um, BTC, Ethereum, USDT, BNB, US. Any coin you want to deposit, just search for the coin, right? Uh, maybe exactly, you can see there are lots and lots of coins here. So just search for the coin. And when you search for the coin, they are going to give you a particular address to use. So when you click on Ethereum, please make sure that you, whatever um, cryptocurrency wallet you've chosen is what you're expecting to deposit. If you're transferring BTC from an account and then you're pasting your Ethereum wallet, you're going to lose that transaction and you're never going to get your money back. So make sure it's Ethereum to Ethereum, BTC to BTC, and that is how you can import your cryptocurrency from your previous platform to your Binance. And that is it. And then the same goes for withdrawal. If you want to withdraw Maybe um, you want to withdraw your BTC and send it back to a different platform. The same thing. All you just need to do is search for the coin you want and then you paste the address of the other exchange platform. Paste it here and then they will send it to you. And the same goes for your fiat. So if you want to withdraw your um, fiat, they are going to tell you to impute the amount you want to withdraw and then they will ask you to provide your account no, account details and then it will take them one to two business days for you to be able to withdraw your money. And that is it for depositing and withdrawing on Binance. And then we have the credit card, which you can see the option is here. They have a 1% fee and then they have what they call the P2P trading. The P2P trading also works the same as your bank deposit, but this time around, you're going to be dealing with buyers and sellers on the app. So this P2P trading, you can either buy or sell your cryptocurrency. It's, it's almost the same thing. All you just need to do is come here and look for the currency you want to, you know, trade with. Maybe it's Naira, Euro, or whatever, and then you enter the amount you want to either buy or sell. As you can see, we have the option of the buy and the sell. I'm going to create a separate video on how to actually do this because this is a bit lengthy, right? So, or you can check out my Safe Moon video. I, I did a tutorial on how you can actually buy um, coins using your using this pair to pair. So all you just need to do, come here, impute the amount you want to buy. Maybe you want to buy 2,000 euros worth of USDT, right? Because most times I make use of USDT because it's very stable. When you purchase USDT, you can now use it to convert to other cryptocurrencies you have, you want to, you know, purchase. Why I use USDT, as I mentioned, is because it's very stable. Maybe I use BTC and then along the way, along the, um, and maybe the person is trying to transfer the um, BTC and then there is a drop in the market. My value is going to definitely reduce. But with USDT, you're sure that 100 USDT the person is trying to send, you're most likely to get that exact 100 USDT compared to other coins that are not stable. So what you just need to do, click on the person that has the limit 
of the um, amount you want to buy and then you click on buy when you click on buy usdt they are going to give you a particular account number to pay the money into and once you pay the money into it the person is going to send you your usdt and you can get that um the usdt in your p2p wallet and then from your p2p wallet you can now move the money from your p2p wallet to your spot wallet where you'll be buying cryptocurrency so now after um depositing um the, the after depositing your fiat into your um, binance account you can go ahead and look at the markets so what the market just does is just shows us the coins that they have so we have the favorites here the favorites means like when you see a particular coin and you you know when i unfavorite it it leaves here so it means the ones you like the pairs you like trading and then what these zones means zones just shows us the category of coins they have so this is all of them and then you can have the um DeFi, which is like the decentralized finance coins you get them here and then we have the innovation coins you get them here you have the proof of stake coins we get them here and then we have the poker dots and then we have nft coins we have um, proof of work here and we have the bsc and all. so this just shows us the different categories of coins they have if you want to see all of them this is it so this is just what it's just showing you there's nothing much to market it just shows you the different kinds of coins they have and then when you click on spot market spot market shows you the pairs you can actually combine when you want to purchase crypto say for example you have binance and you want to get srp coin you can see that it's srp slash binance there's something i want to teach you so say for example you're looking to buy a coin on not any exchange platform, not just the Binance platform, right? So you want to buy maybe Polkadot or you want to buy Chili's coin or Cake coin, but you don't know which particular pair a platform actually goes with. So maybe um, this ADA and BNB, does Binance do AB, ADA and BTC or does Binance do ADA and USDT? For you to be able to do that, all you just need to do is come to um, this um, coin market cap I really like this website guys because it has lots of information when you come to coin market cap just search for that coin you're looking for say for example we want to get ADA right this Cardano and you click on this Cardano when it opens just come to this market when you come to this market and it opens you're going to see the exchange platforms that actually trade these coins and the pairs they trade so if you see Binance Binance trades ADA with ADA slash USDT, you can get ADA with BTC on Binance, you can get ADA with BUSD on Binance, and you can get it with BNB on Binance. So this just helps you check, maybe you want to use KuCoin um, um, exchange platform, they trade, a, um, they trade B a ADA, but they trade it with USDT, I can't see if they trade it with any other thing. So that is just what I use. So if I want to get a coin and I do not know what they trade it in, I just come to Coin Market Cap, search for that particular coin, and then look for the pairs that it goes with. So you can see that on Binance, they do and they trade ADA, ADA with USDT, BTC, um, BUSD. And that's on that. So here, that is just what the market it shows you the spot market. You can come and get chilies with BNB or chilies with usdt if they trade it and then um, we have the futures market i really do not trade futures and i'm going to talk about features in another video but if you're a beginner i would tell you to avoid this for now because it is very risky just focus on the spot market and you'll be good so now leaving the market i'm going to enter the trades which is what i know most of you are here for so if you, if you click on this trade you can see different drop down you can see the converts you can see the classic the advanced trade the margin trade the p2p trading right so now when you click on this converts which i wouldn't even advise you to use mainly but i would want to talk about it so if we click on convert it's just very maybe you have usdt and you want to convert it with btc or you just need to do like i have one dollar usdt right i can just impute the amount of um usdt i want to convert and then convert it to bmm btc but they're telling me here that i need a minimum of 10 usd to be able to convert to btc so this is just the easiest way but why i wouldn't advise you to do that is because the charges are quite high i would always advise you to go for the classic or the advanced trading right so um but this is just the easiest way if you don't want any hassle or you don't want to deal with all the confusions that come with the advanced trading so you just come here search for the coin you want to convert Maybe you have bnb and you want to convert it to btc you just put the bnb value you have put the btc and 
put the BNB value you want to, you know, convert. If it's everything, you just click on max and it brings it out and then you preview the conversion and then you convert it. There is nothing so much, there's nothing um, difficult about using the convert, right? The convert trading. Now we go to the classic trading. The classic trading is almost the same thing as the advanced trading, uh, advanced trading which I think I will just directly move to the advanced trading because it's like um, the same thing. So when you come to the advanced trading, right, we can see um, a lot of things here. Do not be scared. Do not be, you know, do not let it confuse you. I'm going to explain them very slowly. So if we look here, we can see B BTC to USDT. USDT. All this just means is just the pair this guy is trading with. So BTC to USDT. I like leaving mine in BTC USDT, but you can always, you know, change yours to whatever pair you want. All right. So now if we look on this other side, you can see something that looks like 10x. If you're a beginner, just leave it. This is just leverage. It means that you can actually borrow up to 10 times of whatever BTC you have from um, Binance to be able to trade. I would advise you, if you're a new person, please leave this um, leverage for now and just focus on spot trading. So you now you can see the value. So from here, what, your, what this guy shows us is just the current value of BTC. This is the, um, sorry, that is work. This is the current value of BTC. And then he's now telling us in this 24 hour change, what it just means is BTC has done 5% today. That is like 3000 increase on whatever BTC value is. And then it means this 24 high means this is the highest Bitcoin has been within the last 24 hours. And this 59,000, this 24 low means the lowest BTC has been in 24 hours. And then this 79,000 um, volume, 24 hour BTC volume is how much Binance has traded today, which is roughly about 4.8 billion dollars worth of btc being traded on binance today this is <laughs> this is huge man so now do not so um and that is it for that and then if you can see on the left side we can see what we have we have the other book here and then we have the trades here as well and looking down here you can see open order other history trade history and funds and then when we come back to this place we can see the time so what this shows us is this is one day. So this is the graph for one day so far. You can always reduce this to four hours to see how the market has been performing, like looking at these candlesticks and all. So we can see the buy at 64 and the sell at 64. So if you're new and you want to learn more about trading, you can always get the course from Daba School. Chris Annie has a great course on how you can actually learn to trade and understand all these things. And then if you look down here, it's just the same thing that, you know, I explained up here. There's nothing different. And then from this graph, we have, I can actually, this is the original graph. You can see the trading view. You can see that this one is a little bit less dramatic than the other. It just shows you what, this is just the um, Bitcoin graph so far for today. And then if we click on the depth, what this debt means is just um, the gap between people who want to buy and people who want to sell. Here just means that a lot of people want to sell at this particular price. And then this place means that a lot of people want to buy at this particular side. So there is a gap here. So until they merge, that is when like, you know, buyers and sellers agree at a particular point to buy or sell. And then if you come to this other book here, what this place just shows us is this red here shows people that um, want to, you know, um, sell their um, coin. And then this, this um, the lower part here means people that want to purchase this crypto, um, that want to purchase Bitcoin, right? And then if we come here again, we can, this is spots for those that want to buy coin and, you know, trade. And then we have the cross 3x and then this, this is what I told you, like, um, the leverage. So we are going to totally ignore this guy. And then if we come right by this side, we can see our place order. From place order, you can see the limit, the market, and the stop limit. I'm just going to talk about the limit and the market for now. So we also have the sell, and which is which also has the limit and the market. So now what this means is for limits, it means that let's say for example, this is what the current price you can buy. 
you can actually place a limit and say, okay, this is actually too high for me. I want to purchase Bitcoin when it is maybe 62,000. So if you put 62,000 purchase, maybe two BTC, and we are seeing that, but it's too high for you, you want to place a limit that says, okay, I want to be able to get Bitcoin when it's 62,000 or, you know, 60,000. And then you're going to put the amount of BTC you want to purchase when it gets to that point, right? So it means that I need a total of 120,000 USDT. You're going to click on the buy. When we click on the buy, because I do not have this amount of money, when we click on the buy, right, we are going to see the order being placed here. So it means that whoever is willing to sell to you at that 62, when it gets to that point, you see that Binance will place that order and get it for you. So now whoever, so if you see here, people are willing to sell at 63,105 and then people are willing to buy at 63,100. So whoever is the highest bidder, the, the person goes up and whoever is the lowest bidder goes down. So if, for example, we place our, you know, buy, um, buy btc and say i have a lot of money to buy two btc right you see that our, our we are going to join this queue but we are going to be placed way way below because our the price we are bargaining doesn't even suit the market at all and then whoever that is here is whoever that is on top for this means that this person wants to sell at 63,152 and we have someone that wants to buy at 63,150 so whoever wants has the Highest bidding price is state stays up. Whoever has the lowest one is being put down, right? So this trade is just means that people are, who are currently buying and selling BTC as we speak. So when you click on this buy, it purchases your Bitcoin whenever it reaches that market limit. But if you want to, you know, so if you notice like when we came here before, we saw a particular price of 63000 right? So if, um, let's say at that point, I had that money and I clicked on buy and I saw someone who was willing to sell it immediately, the order will be carried out for me immediately. And then the same goes for this market. But the difference between limit and market, I will always advise you to go for limit. The difference between limit and market is that markets, when you place and say, oh, I want to purchase, if you notice, they're not giving you the amount, um, the price for you. That immediately, all you're just seeing here is, they're going to buy it for you at the market price and then you put the total USDT you want to spend. So let's say, for example, I have um, 129 USDT. It's going to get you the best price at that 129 USDT. So it means that probably it's going to look for someone that is willing to sell immediately. You can get this at a very high price compared to when you use a limit. So if you want to buy it immediately and not face all this drama of having an open order here until it reaches your limit you can always go with the market so you click on when you come to the market and you click on buy it immediately buys the coin for you without even leaving you on the queue and that is actually the easiest way to buy and sell um, cryptocurrency here on binance and then the same thing goes for sell so if you want to sell you can put a limit and say oh i want to sell when the price is at 65,000 or 64,000, or if you want to sell immediately and you do not want to wait, you can use the market and Binance will find the best person you can actually sell that to and then you sell your Bitcoin. So I think that is it for how you can use this on you know the website. And then we have derivatives here. You can see futures because I don't deal with futures right now. I really won't want to go in depth on that. But you see that this USDT, we have the US, you have the USD features, we have the coin features. The difference between this USD and coin feature is that when you use um, USD, right, with no expiration, you have up to 125% leverage. It means that when the market goes up by 125, you actually gain, and when the market comes down, you actually lose like that. But the difference between the USD and the coin is if the coin is going down, your own coin will be going down as well if you're trading with coins. But if you use USD, um, if you use the USD features, it means that because it's a stable coin, even if the market is going down or going up, your money is not affected. But if you use coins, your money will be affected. So now that brings me to um, this finance. Okay, so now let's talk about finance. So in Binance, there are actually a lot of things you can do apart from you buying and selling crypto, um, buying and selling cryptocurrencies, right? So you can actually have what they call the Binance in. What it means is that you can actually save on Binance. You can deposit um, BTC and earn up to 120, 1% 1, 1 
a year, right? And remember that it's not like you can't assess this coin when you do that. You can actually assess it depending on the duration because they pay you daily. accumulates daily rather. So it accumulates daily. So what you do is when you deposit this, you're going to have a particular percentage they're going to give you. And then um, say for example, this USDT, seven days duration, you get 6% per annum, you, get, you know, and then BUSD. There's also something they call staking. So when you stake, is another way of making money on Binance, right? So staking is maybe you stake um, your throne and then in 15 days, you get a particular percentage. Remember, is per annum, right? So it accumulates daily. It doesn't mean that 15 days you get 34%. You just accumulate 34% um, for the whole year and then you pick out 15 days. So that's how um, it actually works. So Binance has what they call the staking and then you also have launch pool. So what launch pool is, is maybe a coin is about to be launched. It actually gives people who hold Binance on the app um, it gives you what they call, let's say, early access. So because me, I already, I think I, I think I did for this one. So what it means is, for example, when they have a project, right, and then the um, the project hasn't been launched yet, you actually have you actually have access to staking a particular maybe BNB, and then you'll be getting some rewards for staking that particular amount on Binance. So when you do that, um, you can always claim your reward and then you can always take out your money if you want. So these are like several ways you can actually earn money on Binance. And then they also have their Binance Visa card, right? Their Binance Visa card even gives you, I think, 8% cashback. So if you want to, you have cryptocurrency and you want to make use of your crypto, you can always get their card. When you get their card, you can spend your crypto as well. And then you get 8% cashback, I think when you make use yeah you get up to eight percent cash back when you make use of their card i really do not need the card but if you want to spend your crypto you think you've made some gains and you want to you know splurge you can always get the card and you know make use of your cryptocurrency so now that brings me to i think the crypto loans you can also take loans from um binance so that's why i'm telling you guys that this binance has a lot of things it's not just exchanging and trading cryptocurrency you can also get loans you can save on binance so i just want you to know that there is more to binance than just saving there's more to binance than just you exchanging and trading cryptocurrency so um, i'm going to switch over to the phone so that you can also get a feel of how you can trade um using this binance app as well in mobile when you get to the mobile app we're going to be seeing these five icons below and we're also going to be seeing a lot of things moving around i know it might be a bit confusing but with time we are going to you know get used to it so you're going to see the home um, button we're going to see the market button the trade button the features and the wallet so this is not very different from the web so when you come to home, there are actually things we can see. You can see the deposit euro or buy with your, you know, visa or USD. And here it also shows you like um, the ranking, like the coins that are currently trending now, you will see them on this hot. And then when you click on gainers, you will see the coins that are currently, you know, gaining that particular that are really performing so well and then you click on losers you will see coins that are really losing that day and then for 24 hour volume they will show you what they've been tra trading so far on binance right so now when we come back up here you are going to see deposit referral battle margin liquid source savings launch pad lots and lots of things if you if you even click on more we can see transfer deposits. We can see for trading, we have the converts, which is also what we saw on the web. We can see the spot trading, the margin, the features, the P2P trading. And then when we come to finance, you can see that you can save on Binance. You can stake, crypto loan, you know, liquid swap, and then the BNB vault, which is where you can lock your BNB. And then we also have other things. Like there are a lot of things on this Binance. They even have like a research where you can go and get information. You can read their news. You can chat with them. They have a blog. They have leaders board and API management. All those things you can do on this app. You can even customize your homepage with what you want to see. 
So now when we come back here, we're going to go to markets, which is what I explained on the web. In the market, you have your favorites here. And then we come to spot. Spot shows you the pairs you can trade on Binance. And then we have the futures and then the zones. The zones just um, categorize all the coins they have. We have the proof of work. We have the innovations, proof of stake, DeFi. So when you click on each of them, it shows you the particular coins they have. So now when we come to trade, this is not very different from the web as well. So because you're new, most people that um, most people that don't trade, if you don't trade futures, you'll be trading spots mostly. So all you just need to do when we come to say, for example, wallets, right? This wallet, we have the overview, which gives you the total amount of money you have on Binance. And then this money can be spread across other wallets you have. So on my spot, I have hundred. Um, dollars and then on my end i have 75 dollars right so if you come to spot you can see the coins you have it will show you the coins you have with the value of those coins but everything will be rounded up and shown in btc value and you can also close it if you don't want people to see it and then we can have you have the withdrawal and then we also have um the transfer as well that's if you want to you know transfer money from your p2p wallet to your spot wallet or move money from your spot wallet to your p2p wallet it shows you all of that so what we are going to do now for example is go back to trade let's say you have money on your spot now you've transferred maybe btc or usdt and you want to purchase a coin all you just need to do is come to trade when you come to trade and you're looking for a particular um, coin you click on this so that you can get the coin you're looking for. Let's say, for example, we want to buy ADA, but ADA USDT instead. When you search for ADA, it's going to show you all the particular pairs you can actually get with ADA. So when you click on ADA and you click on USDT, it gives you ADA USDT. So in the middle here, we can see that it's 1.39 um, $1 currently, but then you can place a limit that oh i don't want to buy at 1.39 i want to buy at 1.2 and then when you place that limit and we click on buy we're going to see the open order here so when the coin gets to 1.2 is going to actually purchase it for you the same goes for sell as well so you want to sell right you put the limit that you want to sell so maybe um you want to sell at 1.4 you can change this to 1.4 put the amount of ADA you want to sell. If you want to sell everything, you can click on this 100% here and then you sell. So when the market gets to that 1.5, Binance will place that order for you and sell it for you. And the same goes for, you know, the buy. Now, if you don't want to wait for a limit, if you don't want to make use of limit and you want to make use of market, right? You just click on market and then you put the total USDT you want to spend and immediately it, it does what it, it purchases it for you at the best market price it can find and the same goes for the sell so when you want to sell right all you just need to do if it's, if you don't want to make use of limit and you want to use market immediately you put the quantity of ada you want to sell it finds the best market price for you and sells it for you and the same goes for you know um say for example we want to um, maybe I didn't explain it very well on the web because um, I didn't want the video to be very lengthy. The same thing goes for the P2P. You can buy and sell on um, your cryptocurrency using the pair-to-pair. -pair. Like I said before, the pair-to-pair -pair is where you now deal with actual human beings instead of um, transferring it to a Binance account number, right? So say, for example, I want to um, maybe trade with Naira and I want to buy maybe 500 or 1000 you're just going to look for the limit that is within the range you want to buy when you click on buy they're going to give you i think my network is bad they're going to give you a particular um account number you're going to pay that money into when you pay the money and then um the receiver receives that money the person is going to send you your usdt or whatever cryptocurrency you purchased right when that person sends it to you, your money is going to be in your P2P wallet. You just come back to wallet, come to P2P. You can see here that the wallet, my, my wallet here is 0, 0.00. And say, for example, 
right that this money has come into your account and then you want to move it from your p2p trading to your spot so you can be able to you know trade cryptocurrencies all you just need to do is because they're going to be showing you the um, btc equivalent you just click on transfer when you click on transfer you click on transfer again and then they're going to now ask if you're moving it from your p2p to spot which is what we want to do. If you want to move from your spot to P2P, the same thing, all you just need to do is to click on this and interchange it. So we want to move from P2P to our spot. Remember that, remember the cryptocurrency you purchased. We didn't purchase BTC. We're using USDT, for example. So if it's USDT you were able to purchase, you have to click on this BTC and change the BTC value to USDT. If it was BNB you bought, you change it to BNB. Let's say, for example, yeah, it was USDT that they sent us. You just come here and click on USDT and then enter the amounts the person sent to you. If you want to move everything, because when this cryptocurrency is in your p2p wallet it doesn't increase it doesn't decrease it just stays the same you have to move it from your p2p wallet to your spot wallet so when you move it you can click on max if you want to send everything and then you confirm transfer and that is how the p2p works and then your end you can also come here to see the earnings you have so far which is what i explained on the web you can come here and see your balance you can always transfer this money from your end wallet from your end wallet to your spot wallet but all these things can be seen on your overview right you can see the total amount of bnb and the total amount of um, btc sorry the total amount of money you have on the app when you come to the overview i think that is it and for futures i do not trade futures so i'm not going to talk about it today but if you want a separate video on futures just leave it in the comment section and i'll talk about it in my next video and like i said if you want to you know um if you want to learn how to trade properly please check out the daba school they have a course called the trade and make money course it's very awesome and i know you will learn a lot from it if you want to be a professional trader please go and check out that course and um for i think that is it guys with this i know you can get the basics of you know making use of the binance app you can also check out like um please always take advantage of you know, um, this is their carousel. They always have huge announcements they make. Always make sure you take advantage of these things. Like this TLM launch pool. When you click on it, you can click on this TLM and then you can decide to stake a particular BNB and earn rewards. You get, and when you withdraw your, you can always redeem your BNB. If you don't want to do it anymore, you can redeem it and then you can also claim your rewards. If you also want to save on Binance, all you just need to do is click on savings and then you subscribe to how, how you subscribe to anyone that is suitable for you. Instead of maybe your money being in the bank and not growing, you can always save your money here. You can lock your BNB and earn a particular reward um, amount at the end of the year or moon, depending on how long you want to keep it. You get so there are actually a lot of things you can do on this app, which I think a lot of people should take advantage of it. They always have competitions they always have things they want you to try out like if you check here 50,000 can be won 30,000 can be won if you participate in a competition so Binance is more Binance has more things to do than just you exchanging coins and you know buying and trading on Binance so I think with that we have come to the end of this tutorial if there's any more thing you want me to cover when it comes to Binance please be sure to leave it in the comment section and then regarding the giveaway from Daba School please, for you to be able to participate in their ongoing um, giveaway for this particular video tell me three things you learned from this video you have to follow Daba School Chris Annie and me on Twitter when you when you follow us on Twitter, go to your Twitter and uh, at Daba School, put the hashtag Daba, at me and then Chris Annie and Daba School. Tell us three things you learned from this video and then I will announce the winner in my next video. So make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave your notification turned on, right? It might be you, you'll be able to claim your reward because if we reach out to you and we don't get you, we're going to go on to the next person who responds. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. If you learned one or two from this video, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Whatever video you want to see on this channel, please do not hesitate to leave it in the comment section and I'm going to find time to create those videos for you. I'm also going to create video on how to use crypto.com app, how you can stake and a lot of things that 
I have a lot of contents guys. Please just make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was worth your time. I hope you learned one or two from it and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.